What's going on, everyone? Welcome. I'm not sure what episode this is. I'm recording this a while, like a couple days after I've recorded the m- most recent episode. In terms of, you know, not when they're released, because this is probably going to come out the day after the one I'm talking about does. But last time, let me check here, we did Noki Bay, right? We finished that. Yeah, seven. Okay. So, what's after Noki Bay? Let me think. I can do either. I can either do Pianta Village or the hotel one, which for some reason I can't think of the name of. I'll do the hotel one. What do you want? You want one of those, like, kiwi things. I can't think of what they're called right now. But yeah, uh, Let's Play's almost over. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Quite literally, it, it almost is. There's only one more episode after this. So... It's gonna be this episode, and then the episode after this is gonna be the last episode. So, yeah. It's kind of a short let's play, but it's I think it's enjoyable. It's, I, I don't know, I've always found this game fun to watch. But we need Yoshi to get into... What is this? I, for some reason, I can't remember what this level's called. I don't know why. So we need him to eat the pineapple. Yoshi, get in the pipe. Yoshi. There we go. What is this place called? I cannot remember. It'll come to me when I see it. Serena Beach. That's right. Manta Storm. This is my second favorite boss in the game. Serena Beach. Yeah, that's what it's called. There's Pina Park. And fun fact, this hotel outside area, you can't see it, but if you get like, if you hack the camera to look above it, it's actually like this outside plaza area, like this stuff, is actually shaped like a GameCube controller kind of interesting which is why there's these weird walls with stairs that just lead into nothing like over here this electric poop like this wall right here just leads to nothing that's why because it had to fit looking like a GameCube controller I like this boss fight so basically, this Manta showed up, Manta Ray, and covered his hotel and this entire area in electric goo. There it is. Uh, this, I already mentioned this in an earlier episode, I'm pretty sure. But this entire world, and especially this boss, is actually a reference to, uh, the book, you know, The Shining. It's, it's more known for the movie. But yeah, in the ending of The Shining book, this giant ghost of a manta ray, uh, runs over the hotel. And obviously the hotel's haunted. And yeah, the hotel in this level is haunted. This world is a haunted hotel. So yeah, I don't know why there's a Shining reference in a Mario game. Like, it's not even a reference. The entire world is just one giant homage to it. That straight up just plagiarized the idea of this boss from the book. But... Like, it's it's a direct copy, too. In the book, it's a, it's a shadow of a manta ray that splits into more manta rays. Damn, this boss is just damage tanking a lot. So the best way to do this, actually, is... Okay, is to not die a pretty good strategy sometimes. That is not how you would do that strategy. And they actually do get bigger and reform uh, if you wait long enough so you can't just camp on top of the tree and shoot them. I want to kill off these mini ones first. Back here. Going on the water. Oh, suck. So how is them being in the water not hurting them? Alright, I think he just pulled it away. There we go. This is just gonna be a killing spree out here. There's a big one. Darn it. 
that's my least favorite world. I just like the... I don't like when you actually have to go inside the hotel, which is most of the world. I like the outside area, though. There we go. This is the final phase. The, all the they all chase after you, and basically you can just kind of stand here and just shoot at them. Which I'm not going to do over shoulder camera. played this game it feels shorter and shorter. There we go. What's the hotel called? It's just called Hotel Delfina, right? Yeah, Hotel Delfina, that's right. You can get on top of the, of, the, of the hotel without glitches. It's hard to do, though. I've done it before. I actually, I don't want to talk to you. I just want to know where the shine is. Here it is. Darn it. What shine is that? 37? All right, nice. Sorry, the commentary will... I'll actually be talking a lot more once we move on. That first mission is just kind of... Uh, that, that boss is really cool. I like it. But it's there's not much to talk about when you're actually fighting it. The strategy is literally just tank damage and shoot. There we go. Yep, hotel lobby secret. Flood this mission. Can't remember if this one's hard or not. Strangely enough, they incorporate Yoshi into one of the missions of this. Of, of the inside of the hotel, which is a little weird, but... Anyways, oh, we gotta talk to this guy. There we go. Ghost, yep, haunted hotel, I already mentioned this. Two steps ahead of you soon. Pink ghosts, spray them, they turn on the platforms. And you got to basically kind of climb yourself up to the top here. The ghost mouth. There we go. Let's have the cutscene. We don't need to see it. Oh, this one's. No, this one's not hard. So watch me die on it. Have I died on any of the floodless missions yet? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've died on one. I'm pretty sure I died on one multiple times. Like I said, it's been a couple days. There we go. Okay. Alright, Mario, let's go. Oh, that was- I angled that jump completely wrong. I'm so thankful I made it. Oh, if I die, it's gonna be here. Because this game's slide platform detection is so wonky. Oh, okay, I'm not gonna talk. Just let me focus. Spin jumps are probably the best they've ever controlled in this game. Oh, he did the thing where he doesn't stop his momentum. That was so good, too. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Jeez, all right. Now I'm at least a little bit familiar with the level again. I can just speed run through this. Or I get stopped by those things. They're called stroll and stews, I'm pretty sure. 
This game's kind of like 3D, like Mario Land 2, kind of. Bunch of really cool enemies with interesting designs that just never showed up ever again. I think the Piantas have only ever showed up, re reappeared like twice in any Mario game. They show up in uh, Mario Galaxy 2, and they're also in uh, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, I'm pretty sure. Get on there, please. Okay. Man, I wish I could save state. So I didn't have to run through all that again just to get to this. But like I said earlier, what makes these hard, they're not actually challenging. It's just a matter of taking objects that are built around you having flood and taking flood away from you. It's they what they should have done, and I already mentioned this, but it bears I'll say it again. Because it's a really good point, I think. What they should have done is just actually let you take advantage of the fact that you're playing as Mario Floodless and built stuff around that. Most of this isn't platforming. Most of this is most of the challenge of Floodless levels comes from here's a level that was built around having flood, except you don't have flood. And it just makes it unfairly difficult. And that's why those suck. But I managed to get through it with only one death, so I'll take it. Mysterious Hotel Delfino. One of these things is infamous. There's like this panel flipping game you have to play. It takes like 10 minutes to get. So this might be one of the longest episodes of the Let's Play, actually, just for this world alone. There's a lot of lengthy missions. Especially that l last one. Unless this is the one I'm talking about. Yeah, pineapple. This is the one I'm talking about. This one's really cryptic. Uh, I hate this one. That's the girl's bathroom. Go into the boy's bathroom. And you see this water right here? If you jump up, it takes you to this puddle. Come on, camera. Don't get that way. You can spray through this painting to create a ghost, which will allow you to jump through it. If you can go on the other side. Let's see. Oh, ow. Then spray these doors until they form a ghost shape. Just like that. Or form a ghost image, I should say. Instead. Then you gotta shoot these pink ghosts to create a platform. I just want you needed Yoshi for this, though. No, I'm stupid. You have to get the pineapple. Am I doing this wrong? I'm pretty sure I'm doing this mission wrong. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm doing it right. Yeah, I'm doing it right. I'm thinking of another mission where you go inside the vents. I'm gonna have to shoot through that, which rips the painting. Coins, coins. Yep. How do I get in there? The pineapple's in there. Ah, oh, what do I do? I never remember here. One of these panels flips, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure one of these coin panels, like, you ground pound it and it, like, flips, right? Um. What do I usually. Yeah. There's something to this level. I always forget what to do on this one just because of how cryptic it is. Oh, here it is. Here's the panel. I was kind of right. All right. And then, uh, so that's actually just one of the many pineapples you can get. You can also get them in here. They're inside of these crates. All right, now that we have the pineapple, we can uh, go through the door. Jump down. Where is Yoshi at? I'm doing the right one, right? Mysterious Hotel Delfino. I'm pretty sure this is the right one. What do you do with Yoshi? I'm pretty sure is yeah. Oh yeah, I know what to do now. I'm just I'm not thinking correctly. So we have to do all of that again with Yoshi. There we go. 
Oh no, we don't. We just bounce through here, actually. Yeah, yeah, here we are, here we are. Okay. Wait, no, this isn't right. Yeah, see, we have to go in the vents and then drop down. Uh, I don't want to be in this room. Am I gonna have to split this into two episodes? I'm just uh, not being able to think. Yoshi. Yeah, see that hole? You have to drop down from the vent. How do we get out of here with Yoshi? Or can I just not? Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Alright, Yoshi, I guess I'm letting you go. Oh, my... Okay, well, I guess oopsie. Pop back through here before Yoshi despawns. Now that I actually figured it out, I really don't want that. What did I just do to drop through here? I don't know. What did I do? I hate this mission. I hate Serena Beach in general. Was that a ground pound? I can't remember. I sprayed something, didn't I? I honestly can't think right now. Ah, uh, what did I do? Oh, there we go. I did switch up my favorite panel right here. Uh, not right there, but this one, this one right here. This is fine. No, spray it. Spray it. Oh, don't go back through Yoshi. Fine. Okay. That works as well. Oh, I can already get through. I am being so dumb right now. I think I'm doing this all wrong, but I think it'll still work. You. This might not even be the right mission, but even if it's not, I can still get to shine early, so. Through. There we go. Yoshi, let's go. And you gotta eat the ghost to get in the vents. Please. Okay, thank you. Where's the room? Yeah, it's the panel in here. I, I, I'm sorry. This is a lot more confusing. There's so many steps involved in this mission. It's just you get this oriented. Trust me. Okay. Eat the ghost. No, I was wrong. What mission am I doing right now? I can't think. Why can't I think of what to do? Why can't I think? Alright, hold on. Uh, you know what? Give me a second, guys. I don't- I'm not even actually embarrassed to do this at all. This mission is notorious for being confusing. I'm looking it up real quick and I'm just skipping ahead to where I was. Yep, I did all that right. I'm, I'm missing the crucial step, though. He gets the pineapple, he brings it to Yoshi. And what's he do with Yoshi? Alright, I was kind of right, guys. I, I was half right. It, it, it is the vents. You do take him through the vents. I was just going through the wrong entrance. Got it. This, I'm, I'm not going to split this into two episodes. I'm just going to make this a long episode. Cause it's already 17 minutes, and this is only like mission. It doesn't tell me what episode it is. Okay. Yeah, I was right about the vents. I just entered the wrong way. So we gotta go up to the third floor. That's right. Okay. Yeah, that's why this door is open right here. That's right. Aha, uh -huh, now I'm remembering it. The vents are up here. And you gotta pick the right path. And that janitor makes a reference to Luigi's Mansion if you talk to him. Okay. There's a specific, there's a specific way to do this. One of the... Uh, there's like a middle area with coins in it that you can get into. Make sure you eat that one. Yeah, that one right there. That room in there. We gotta get in there. Somehow. Yeah, like this. Okay. I'm doing it right. Face 
pretty sure it's this one. Please be. Please be this one. I hate myself so much. I hate myself. I hate- No, I don't- I hate this mission. I hate this mission. It's- Whatever. We're moving on. I know you gotta get up against the wall. My strategy for this is always to just get up against that flat back wall as fast as possible. So if I just follow the path from there, I should be able to make it. This right here, you just want to get up against this as fast as possible. And then follow it. Is it this one right here? Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, it is. It is. Yep, I was right. Okay. Wow. 20 minutes in. Actually, 21 minutes in, technically. Right about now. Yeah, okay. Jeez. That, I'm pretty sure that was only episode... Yeah, that was only episode two. These other, these other missions will go fast, though, because I, I get those ones. It just... That one always gets me. Is this the cleanup mission? Oh, no, this is the... This is the really long casino one, isn't it? That's agonizing. Yes, it is. Oh, man. This is gonna- be, I knew this was gonna be a long episode going into it. Uh, Mario. There we go. Dude, let me talk to you, please. Let me in, good sir. <laughs> oh, the casino. Screw this place, dude. I did it wrong. You gotta go, obviously, all seven. Um, the actual, the way you're supposed to do this is just by spraying them all. One, there's one over here, and there's that infamous middle puzzle that takes a long time to get. That sucks. It's RNG is all this mission is. That's why I hate it. That's why everyone who plays this game hates it. Just give me something good, please. It's gonna give me ghosts again, isn't it? No. Okay. Seven. Seven. There we go. Good. That opens up the middle one. This is the one that everyone hates. So you gotta spray all these p tiles to make the image appear, but because the water physics, the way they work, you always end up spraying ones you've already flipped, and it's just annoying. Each little individual droplet of water can flip it. How come up there flipped? Okay, okay. Oh, of course, the middle one. Come on. Come on, this red one won't budge. There we go. Excuse me, a corner piece. There we go. You're joking. Oh, my God. I was one piece away and it just ruins it itself. Okay. It's just these two. It's just these two. Why? Please. Oh, we did it. 
We did it. Oh, that didn't take long at all. I'm so that was really lucky. Oh no. Oh, this is the one that sucks too when I'm only on two lives. I'm pretty sure there's a one up in this level though. Oh, I forgot it was a floodless mission behind here. That just that's just the cherry on top, isn't it? Jeez, I hate this one. I hate Serena Beach so much. I'm not trying to make this video negative, but like, ugh. It's so bad. It's so poorly designed. When I played this game last year for the first time, this was actually... Or not last year, 2020 when I played it for the first... Or whenever... Whenever 3D All-Stars came out is when I played this game for the first time. Yeah. Let's just say this game this game was the first time I ever raged in a video game in a long time. Oh no. This doesn't make me redo the uh the thing is I only have two more shots at this. And if I mess it oh, I hate this so much. I think it's almost worth going for that risky one up. I love how clean the spin jump is in this game. It's It controls so well. It's almost more reliable. I'm pretty sure it is more useful than your normal jump. Just for how reliably it's it, it works so well. Get it, get it, okay. We're safe, we're safe. It's alright, we can wait. Okay. Where's it gonna go? Doesn't matter to me, because I'm getting on this one. Do, do, do. Okay, get on here. Get on there. Jump. Okay, now wait. Now wait. There we go. So close yet so far. Oh, my hands, my palms are like the sweaty. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to focus. I can't think. Don't talk. Jump! Oh, wait, we can still slide off this. Okay. I have had, I will be honest with you. The very first time I played this mission, I ran up to grab the shine. And see how that's kind of like in a, a flat triangle shape? Mari, I ran up to it. And I dived for it out of desperation. And Mario landed on the edge and slid backwards. And all the momentum he picked up slid him backwards so far. He slid backwards off the map and I had to redo the level again and I actually didn't do it till the next day. I was that angry. Serena Beach, you suck. This is only episode five. King Boo. Alright, I like this boss. Serena Beach is not a bad world, it's it's just the worst world. Which means I get to complain about it for free. I like the music though. Yep. We'll switch ground pound it. There we go. I like this boss. Try to hit all these if you can to stop them from spinning when he shows up. Uh, you gotta shoot water at his tongue to- oh, perfect. We got a good roll. Basically, you want to get the pineapples on screen, so he'll drop food, and then what you want to do is you want to grab a pepper and throw it at him, and then what you want to do from there is get one of these spiky durians. Come on. Dive. Didn't work. Okay. What you're supposed to do is, like, Alright, do I have another... I think I do. Okay. And I messed it up. Okay. Move on. You're supposed to like... There we... No, it didn't work. I don't know if that worked. Here's the little spiky fruits called durians. You're supposed to like dive into those, which will shoot them at him to hurt him. And sometimes it's hard to do. 
because the way the camera's positioned. All right, great, random. Oh, that's a really unlucky random roll. Because Cataclacks are hard to kill on this map. Die. Okay. Cataclacks, go away. You kill Cataclacks, actually. You kill Cataclacks. I do like this boss though, it's just. Sometimes I'm not good at the uh. Darn it. More enemies, really. I can't see where I'm gonna land this one more. I don't really There's a strategy to this, or a certain way you can spray them, that makes it do food every single time. I don't remember what it is, though. Actually, I want those coins. Ground pound, sorry, I'm just trying to focus. Food, yes, let's go, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Throw it at him. Where's there a durian? Where's there a durian? There's one over here, okay. I missed! Come on, come on. There we go! There's hit one of three that are required. There's like a certain area of his body that if you like spray him at a certain height, he'll um, it'll always roll fruit. All right, that's not a bad roll. I can kill bloopers and uh, scrolling stews. They're not scrolling. I forget what they're called. No, it's strong stews. Never mind. Move on. Go back down, dude. Is there one left? Oh, I didn't even see these guys over here. Spray them. Fruit, 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 fruit. Yeah, food, yep. Yay, that's cool, that's cool. Alright. Now let's pray I can actually get it. There we go, there we go. Can I grab the pepper in time? Will that despawn in my hand? It will, okay. Uh, that was really good purple. Uh, switch your RNG. Ah, uh, I was kinda hoping we get food again and just be able to finish this off. Yeah, I'm not gonna split this into multiple episodes, I'll just make it a longer one. Oh uh, yeah, the gamer strategies of just switching to the hover nozzle. Flip and spin, or shoot and run, spin. Food? Food? Yeah, yeah, food. Let's go. I'm hunt. Get back over here. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Eat the pepper. Oh, this is why the pepper No, you gotta be kidding. No, you gotta be kidding. You have to be kidding me. There we go. I kept bonking on the other foods. <laughs> Finally, episode five done. What is that? Thirty-nine shine, forty-first. Close enough. Yeah, I think we'll do Banjo Kazooie for our next Let's Play. Saturday, I should be streaming Majora. Actually, I shouldn't be saying that because at the time of me recording this.
it'll already be past the time I stream, so ignore that. Scrubbing Serena Beach, nice. This is one of the easy missions. How much time did they give me? Like five minutes? Three minutes. Okay. Every single last inch of the stuff you gotta get. But luckily, it's all in giant patterns and areas. It's not, there's not like any hidden. So this is not hard to do. That three minute timer is a lot more generous than you think, trust me. The scary thing that can happen on this mission is you have like one minute remaining and you're like checking everywhere for like the tiniest little piece of blue. It's happened to me once, but I found it. But of course, now that I'm recording, I'll probably suck at this mission. So. Area, so I can get on there. See how there's like none up there, it's just in this main area. Okay. See that there? No. Don't want to get that blue coin. It doesn't really matter, but I'd rather not get the blue coin because I'm not getting any of them. We might actually want to pick up the pace here. Uh, there's water right here. Dude, you're standing right on some goo, you gotta... Dude, please. Come on, Mario, we got this, we got this. I can do this. You know why? I'm just that good. If I fail this, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't fail this. I might be cutting it close, but I won't lose. Yeah, I'll be fine. But the scary thing is when it hits 10 seconds, that the timer actually speeds up a bit. Oh, I missed there and there, but the timer stops, so it's bad. 24 seconds to spare? Yeah, that timer is really generous. I'm not even being sarcastic. 24 seconds, that's still a really long time. And then, the mission, this is going to be our last mission, before the final episode, so nice. Which is also going to be a long one, because the last world is very, it takes a lot of time. Let me just say that. Serena Beach, Shadow Mario checks in. I actually might, after recording this, I might go over to my completed file and replay the final world. Just redo all the missions, just this practice, because I don't want that video to drag on any longer than it has to. Because Pianta Village is a very, it's a very big open world and it's very, very long. The missions take a lot of time. So I might want to practice. Just so I don't get stuck running around. All right, worst Shadow Mario in the game, hands down. I hate this. I hate this side on Mario. He's because he cloned himself like that. But his clones can hurt you too, so if you run into them, like you can tell which ones are clones and which ones are him. But when you're chasing him down, it's hard to see because it's the same color as the water and the walls, and it's just it blends in, and you just end up running into him, and then he runs ahead of you. Where is he? Where'd he go? Did he go through here. Nope. Gotta catch him. He jumped back down. Yeah. 
That was jeez. Good job there, Mario. Nice, I cut him off from going to the third floor. There we go. Forty-third shine ends off the video. I still don't know why I'm counting them, but I am. Yeah, we'll have exactly fifty shines by the time this let's play is done. I'm pretty sure. Nice number. All right. So that was Serena Beach. I'm pretty sure. Check my big map here. Seven, right? Yeah. Well, duh. We just fought Shadow Mario. I'm being stupid. Yeah. Uh, nothing really more to see here. Something I, I guess I might point out for fun is there's kind of like a little brochure for each of the areas. They are in really bad quality. They're like unreadable, but yeah, there's little brochures for the levels, which really drives home the whole tourist attraction thing. I, I just, I don't know, I, I like that about this game. The detail is just, I, I just like when they do stuff like that in games. Anyway, I'm done messing around on the menu here. All right. So that is going to be the episode. I will see you guys next time. Bye.